In India, lies a hidden menace, a threat to regional and global security. Money laundering and terror financing in India occur via various sources, creating a complex web of illicit financial transactions. These sources fuel the money laundering and terror financing in India. Corruption remains a persistent issue in India. Corrupt officials, politicians, and individuals draw out public funds, creating vast sums of illicit wealth. To legitimize this wealth, money laundering becomes only step for them. High-profile cases like the 2G Spectrum scam and the Commonwealth Games scandal serve as stark reminders of how corruption can generate massive amounts of illegal wealth, requiring complex money laundering schemes to hide its origins. The drug trade in India is another significant source of illegal money. The proceeds from drug trafficking flow through intricate financial channels, making it a good choice for money launderers. In India, drug dealers launder their profits by investing in legitimate businesses, effectively masking their fraudulent gains and making them appear as clean money. In 2023, a massive drug scam bust in India. Nearly 2,500 kg of methamphetamine, ice, worth around Indian rupees 120 billion was seized from a vessel in Indian waters along the Kerala coast. Similarly, in June 2020, the Thane police in Maharashtra uncovered a major drug trafficking operation worth Indian rupees 20 billion. They seized a large quantity of drugs, including heroin, methamphetamine, and cannabis. This case led to the arrest of several individuals involved in the drug trade, including both suppliers and consumers. Financial fraud, such as Ponzi schemes and investment scams, can generate substantial illicit gains that criminals aim to legitimize within India's financial system. The scandalous Sardha Ponzi scheme, which operated across several Indian states, involved thousands of investors. The proceeds from this scam were laundered to obscure their origins, exposing the intricate nature of money laundering in India. In India, criminal engagement in counterfeiting Indian currency is rampant, flooding the financial system with fake notes that is laundered to appear legitimate. The widespread circulation of counterfeit notes, such as the fake 2000 rupees notes, posed a significant challenge to authorities. The number of counterfeit notes of 2000 denominations detected in the system was 13,604 pieces during 2021 to 22, 54.6% higher than the preceding financial year. Human trafficking operations in India generate substantial illegal profits, necessitating money laundering to obscure the origins of these funds. The traffickers often use money laundering to legitimize their gains, investing in real estate, businesses, and other assets. This makes it exceedingly difficult for authorities to trace the illicit funds and disrupt the cycle. The 2013 Global Slavery Index, published by the Australia-based Walk Free Foundation, an organization that works to end modern slavery, found that almost half of the 30 million modern slaves in the world are from India. Whereas, India is employing false overseas financial support allegations and accusations of terrorism to go after, frighten, trouble, and stifle dissenters, clearly infringing on FATF guidelines. The Bharatiya Janata Party BJP, has linked its counter-terrorism regulations to enforce its Hindutva and colonialist agendas against Muslim minorities and low-caste Hindus.